Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with another video for you. If you do not know what OBS Studio is, it pretty much stands for Open Broadcast Software. It is an awesome program that has pretty much been used out there for streaming, stuff like that. Um, Streamlabs that we probably hear out there, the new program is kind of like a stolen layout of OBS Studio. So if you didn't, believe it or not, it's not associated with each other, believe it. Um, so it's kind of like the original one that's free open source. So if you do want to help them, please consider of staying with OBS Studio, but if, let's say, if OBS is having problems or you're just not a person like to do OBS and let's say you were using a different program instead, then we understand. We're pretty much going to be showing you how to uninstall the OBS Studio. Also, on the end of the video, we're going to be showing you an awesome link below where you can pretty much get some exclusive discounted Windows keys or, or like Office or other program stuff like that. So pretty much cheaper than $15 or less. So if you want to look for it on the end of the video, you can, or also you can follow the links below and I'll be showing you how to get it too. Regardless, let's go ahead and get started. So there's many different ways that you can uninstall this program here on Windows 11, um, but I'm probably gonna show you a couple different ways and just in case something happens, we can show later on another way how to do it too if it's needed. So by default, you can pretty much go to the start menu and I know it's recently I just installed, and you can technically can search for it too if you need to from OBS like this. Oh, I love it when it switches over. Oh, it means no point. They could have just kept it as the same as search engine built in with it. Seems an extra nonsense set. Um, you can pretty much come to here and you can pretty much just press uninstall once you search it and right click. And it's pretty much that simple. But if you don't want to do it like that, you can pretty much go to settings. You can get to it like this. And then go to apps and you can choose apps and features and you're pretty much here and there is the OBS that was coming up. Or is it at OBS Studio right there? There's actually easier routes too. If you pretty much go to Windows 11, you can pretty much go to start menu and you can right click. And from there you can simply go to apps and features and it's pretty much super easy to get to this point. Now it has happened on Windows 10 and it could be happening also on Windows 11 out of coincidence. So in case you do not see it here and this program is not showing up on regular the new feature um, apps you can pretty much go to the search bar and you can type in control panel I just typed in control and it takes it to control panel right there I'm gonna go ahead and expand this and then from there you can select programs or honestly you can just click uninstall program and it takes us to right here and then from that point you can click the OBS studio and you can double tap it or you can pretty much just click the uninstall change and you're pretty much at that point. You have to press yes if you're going to do the process. But that's just in case it doesn't want to show up. So pretty much again, simple is easiest route that I probably would use is probably just go to start and go to apps and features and you know, you can choose what programs you want to uninstall. It could be unnecessary other programs you can probably just find out they're also there too. But here we are. We're pretty much going to select the OBS Studio right there. And the new one's a little more pain. I'm going to apps and features. You would think you just click it. No, you have to go to the right side and click the three dots. And then from there you can select the uninstall. And then I'll pretty much tell you that this app and related info will be uninstalled. We really don't care. We're trying to uninstall this program. So we're going to go ahead and press uninstall. And you'll probably be prompted the same concept that would have been done if we went to control panel. You get the point. We're going to go ahead and press yes. And it tells us if you want to just uninstall the program. Now technically you have your own customization. Let's say if OBS is just having problems. I would say to not check this. Leave it as is like this. That if you need to restore OBS you'll still have your settings saved. But if you do not, and just actually just trying to get rid of OBS, period, that you don't want to use this anymore, you don't even care about your own customizations and your scenes and separates, like layouts and themes, stuff like that, then you pretty much understand. Go ahead and select it and press uninstall. And it pretty much does the work pretty quick and it shows you all the stuff that got cleared up you don't want to look up. And that's pretty much it. Now it does happen sometimes, and it has happened to me. Like let's say OBS has the shortcuts. So if there is a shortcut, you can honestly you can just click it and right click and uninstall. Well, not uninstall, you'll just select more. I'm sorry, the new layout. You can actually press delete, del delete right here. Or the old classic layout. If you have like Windows 10, you can press delete. Or also, if it's somehow in here, let's say an example, we have a program. And it's lost. So let's say the program's here. You'll honestly need to find out where it's at. And then let's see if we can see actually where the folder is. Open file location. And you see underneath programs, you would have to choose if it was like OBS Studio. So you see right here, we have OBS Studio right there. It's just showing the folder. So it's kind of getting a glitch. So actually, if I go to start menu, let's see, we see OBS there. You see, I see, it doesn't show it there, but it's kind of saying that it's there. So this does come up. If it does come to a point, you can just select OBS and you can press delete and that'll do the work. And then again, actually, if you hold shift and press delete, you wouldn't have to go to the recycle bin, it would just shred it. 
but same concept, you'll delete it from there, and you're pretty much good. And that's pretty much, honestly, if you probably restart your computer, it might just disappear too, but it's honestly, the program is uninstalled. Now, technically, there could be stuff saved in registry. I'm not going to be a person that complains to the world. They're going to like, no, your data's there. And if it was like that, man, then, what, then what's your problem? Why'd you even install it in the whole point? You get the point. Um, but that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching from Helton's Computer Repair, and I will see you on the next video. If you are searching for a cheaper route for like a Windows 10 product key, or maybe you don't want to pay for that monthly subscription for Microsoft Office, then head over to premiumcdkeys.com. From there, you can choose software, and you have a variety of different type of operating system product keys you need. They even have the Microsoft Office for discounted codes that you can use to activate them too. Just choose which one you want, and it'll be very useful. The one I'm going to use is go ahead and use a Windows 10 Pro product key, and they tell you instructions and stuff if you need to do the ISO that's needed and activations, how to do it. It's pretty simple, and just choose what you want. I'm going to go ahead and select Add to Cart for the Windows 10 Pro product key, and then here we are. I'm going to go ahead and go to Checkout, and you can use our discount code called Helton's Computer Repair, and press Apply. This will give you a small percentage of discount that helps you and helps us too. From there, you can type in your billing information or you can use PayPal. Be sure on the contact information for the email that you do use an email that you have access to because that is where they're going to pretty much send you the product key for the activations for it. So you will need that to be done. And that should be pretty much it. Just go ahead and complete your transaction and everything should be good. Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store, link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.